everyone, welcome back to Storytime. You may remember that one of our hints for this week's letter was our friend George here. <laughs> I have a couple other hints for you. They are a giraffe. And some goats. This is a little bit of a tricky letter because it can sound uh, different. It has two different sounds that it makes. The J sound and the G sound. But I bet you can guess it. What do you think it is? That's right. It's the letter G. G for George. G for giraffe. G for goats. Great job. We'll bring George back so we can say hello to our friends. Ready to say hello, George? <laughs> Hi, Arlo, Hugo, Daniel, Everett, Sydney, Bobby, Quinn, Ryan, and Rory, and Yara. And if we missed anybody, just let us know on the library's Facebook page, and we'll let, make sure to say hello to you next time. The first song that we're going to sing is the alphabet song. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, next time won't you sing with me? Awesome job, friends. The next thing we're going to do, you can stand up for this one. And I'm going to use some scarves, but I'm just going to use these scarves to kind of clue you in on what you're doing. So I have a green scarf, and green starts with the letter G. And I have a yellow scarf, and I have a red scarf. So this action rhyme goes like this. Green means go, 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 and you're going to march in place kind of fast. Yellow means slow, 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 and then you can slow down your marching. And red means stop. Go, go, go. Slow, 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 and stop. Let's try that a few times. Ready? Slow, stop, go, march fast, and stop, and slow, and, oh, we have to stop, red, and one more fast marching, green. Great job, friends. We'll put those down. The next song is about a garden, and garden starts with the letter G. And it goes like this. The seeds from the pack go in the ground, in the ground, in the ground. The seeds from the pack go in the ground. Will my garden grow? The rain from the sky goes drip, drip, drop, drip, drip, drop, drip, drip, drop. The rain from the sky goes drip, drip, drop. Will my garden grow? The sun in the sky is hot and bright, hot and bright, hot and bright. The sun in the sky is hot and bright. Will my garden grow? The seeds in the ground are sprouting up, sprouting up, sprouting up. The seeds in the ground are sprouting up. 
Look, my flowers grew. Awesome job. And the last little rhyme that we're going to do is called Goodbye. And goodbye actually also starts with the letter G. But this is one that we've done with rhythm sticks in the past. So you probably are familiar with this rhyme. When we've done it in the past, we've tapped our rhythm sticks fast and slow and high and low. But for this one, we're going to say the word goodbye in different ways. So it goes like this. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as soft as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye! Before we actually say goodbye though, I have a few book suggestions for you. And they are, the first one is The Short Giraffe by Neil Fleury, and it's about a giraffe who's sh much shorter than all of the other giraffes. And when they try to take a picture together, they have a problem. They can't get everybody in the picture. So you'll, if you want to, you can check this book out from the library and find out how they get everybody in the picture. It's called The Short Giraffe. The next one is called The Three Billy Goats Buenos by Susan Middleton Alia and illustrated by Miguel Ordonez. And it's a retelling of The Three Billy Goats Gruff. And there are some fun Spanish words in this one, so you can learn some Spanish words when you read this. And then the last one is called Green. And it's just all about different shades of green and different ways you might see the color green. It's by Laura Vaccaro Seeger. And the illustrations in this one are really pretty. So those are some books I think you'll enjoy. And I'll bring George back so we can say goodbye. And I'll give you a hint for next week, for next story time. The next hint is a horse. So think about that and think about, hmm, what might our next letter be? And also remember to take a look around for things that start with the letter G. Ready to say goodbye, George? Ruff, ruff. Goodbye, friends. See you again soon. Thanks for coming to Storytime.